The Yeti SB130 is a mountain bike designed for those who love to explore uncharted trails. After spending significant time riding it, I want to share my experience with this bike. From its unique design to its performance on different terrains, there's much to discuss. Getting to know the SB130. When I first saw the Yeti SB130, I noticed how different it looked compared to other bikes. It has a long reach, which means the distance between the handlebars and the seat is greater. This design helps the rider stay balanced on the bike. This feature is essential for someone like me, who enjoys tackling unknown trails. It makes me feel stable and ready for anything that comes my way. The bike has 130 millimeters of rear suspension designed to soak up bumps and provide a smooth ride. Additionally, it comes with a 150 millimeters fork at the front. This combination allows for better performance, especially when going downhill or over rough patches. It felt like the bike was built to handle tough conditions. Climbing made easy. One of the standout features of the SB130 is its ability to climb hills. The bike's geometry puts the rider in a forward position. This helps maintain traction on steep climbs. When I faced a challenging ascent, I felt confident and supported. The front end didn't wander, allowing me to focus on my pedal strokes instead of steering. While climbing, I could feel the bike's suspension working well. It absorbed the bumps, making it easier to keep a steady rhythm. I could pedal harder without worrying about losing control. This is a big deal for someone who enjoys climbing tough trails, handling downhill sections. After climbing, the real fun begins, going downhill. The SB130 shines in this area as well. The bike feels composed and stable, even at higher speeds. I noticed how well the suspension handled bumps and drops. It was comforting to know that the bike could absorb shocks while still keeping me in control. Another great feature is the long dropper post. This allows the seat to be lowered quickly when I'm going downhill. It gives me more room to maneuver and feel agile. When the trail gets rough, I can shift my weight and adjust my position easily. This adaptability makes a big difference when facing technical sections. The Switch Infinity Suspension one of the key components of the SB130 is the Switch Infinity Suspension System. This patented technology is designed to improve how the bike feels on the trail. It has a unique pivot point that changes direction as the bike moves. This means that the suspension can respond effectively to different types of terrain. While riding, I appreciated how this system provided excellent support during climbs. The bike felt efficient, allowing me to pedal with power. The suspension is designed to have high anti-squat characteristics, meaning it resists sagging under pedaling pressure. This is particularly helpful when climbing, as it keeps the bike stable. The build quality. The Yeti SB130 is built with high-quality materials, specifically carbon fiber. This makes the bike lightweight, but still strong. The carbon layup used in the TURQ series is particularly impressive. It balances stiffness and compliance, providing a responsive ride without being overly rigid. I also liked the internally routed cables. They not only look cleaner, but also help reduce noise. When I'm out on the trail, it's nice not to hear rattling cables. The attention to detail in the build quality shows Yeti's commitment to creating a great bike. Versatility on different trails. One of the best things about the SB130 is its versatility. It's designed to handle a variety of terrains, making it suitable for different types of riding. Whether I was cruising on smooth paths or tackling rocky trails, the bike performed well in all situations. On smooth trails, I could ride quickly and efficiently. The bike felt responsive, allowing me to enjoy the speed. In contrast, on rougher terrains, the suspension absorbed the bumps, making the ride more enjoyable. This adaptability is a significant advantage for anyone who likes to explore different types of trails. Conclusion. After spending time with the Yeti SB130, I can confidently say it's a fantastic bike for anyone who loves mountain biking. Its design, performance, and build quality make it a reliable companion for exploring the outdoors. The bike excels in climbing and descending, and the Switch Infinity suspension system enhances its overall performance. The comfort and control I experienced while riding were impressive, allowing me to tackle different terrains with ease. I recently had the chance to ride the Giant Trance X29, and I want to share my experience with you. 
This bike is built for tough trails, and I was excited to see how it performed on various terrains. I took it through rocky sections, root-filled paths, and steep climbs. First Impressions The aluminum frame looks strong yet lightweight. This is important for a trail bike, as you want something that can handle rough conditions without feeling heavy. The design is modern and sleek. The geometry is designed for 29-inch wheels, which gives a good balance between stability and maneuverability. I appreciate that Giant offers different sizes so riders of all heights can find a good fit. This is crucial because a well-fitted bike makes a big difference in how you ride. The Suspension System One of the key features of the Giant Trance X29 is its suspension. It has a Maestro rear suspension system with 135 millimeters of travel. This means that when you go over bumps or drops, the bike absorbs the impact well. I found this to be very helpful on technical trails. I could ride over rocky sections without feeling too jolted. The suspension kept the wheels on the ground, which helped maintain control. The bike also has a 150mm fork, which complements the rear suspension. This combination makes the ride smooth. I felt confident going downhill as the bike handled the terrain effortlessly. The suspension adjusts to different trail conditions, making it versatile for various terrains. Wheel Performance the Giant AM29 alloy wheels are designed for durability. I put them to the test on various trails, and they performed well. The larger wheel size helps with rollover capabilities, which means the bike can roll over obstacles like rocks and roots more easily. The wheels feel sturdy and provide good traction, which is essential when navigating tricky sections. I also found that the wheel set is compatible with tubeless tires. This means I can run lower tire pressures without worrying about pinch flats. Lower pressure gives better grip on the trails, which I appreciate. It allows me to ride confidently over uneven terrain. Gear shifting. The Giant Trance X29 comes with Shimano SLX SL M7101 by 12 shifters. I found the shifting to be smooth and quick. When I shifted gears, it felt natural. This is important when you're climbing steep hills or powering down descents. I didn't have to think much about my shifts. I could focus on the trail ahead. Alternatively, there's an option for a SRAM SX Eagle 1x12 setup. I didn't try this option, but I've heard good things about its performance as well. Having choices for the drivetrain means that riders can pick what they prefer. Comfort on long rides. Comfort is important, especially for longer rides. The Giant Trance X29 has a well-designed saddle that provides good support. I didn't feel sore even after several hours on the bike. The geometry also plays a role in comfort. I felt balanced and relaxed while riding, which allowed me to focus on the scenery and enjoy the ride. I also wore a good pair of mountain biking shoes, which helped with comfort and control. Having the right gear makes a significant difference, and I recommend investing in quality shoes if you plan on riding regularly. Overall impression. In summary, I found the Giant Trance X29 to be a fantastic trail bike. It's versatile, comfortable, and built to handle tough trails. The suspension and geometry worked well together, giving me the confidence to tackle a variety of terrains. I enjoyed customizing the bike to fit my riding style, and the gear options provided smooth shifting. If you're looking for a trail bike that can do it all, the Giant Trance X29 is worth considering. It's designed to adapt to different terrains, giving you the freedom to explore. Whether you're a beginner or a more experienced rider, this bike can enhance your trail experience. The Specialized Stump Jumper 15 is a trail bike that I've had the opportunity to ride recently, and I want to share my thoughts straightforwardly. This is a bike that seems to be aimed at riders who want something versatile for both climbs and descents, with some customization options built in. First Impressions When I first saw the Specialized Stump Jumper, I noticed it had a pretty solid look. The frame is made from M5 alloy, which is aluminum, and it feels sturdy without being too heavy. I like bikes that feel reliable when you're going over rough ground, and this one gave off that vibe. As soon as I got on, the bike felt balanced. I'm about average height, and the cockpit of the bike seemed roomy enough without feeling too stretched out. This is important to me because I like to feel in control of the bike, especially when navigating tricky sections of trail. One of the things that stood out right away was how easy it was to get the bike set up for different rides. There's a lot of adjustability built into the Stump Jumper, and that's one of its main features. 
You can tweak the geometry of the bike depending on what kind of riding you're planning to do. For example, you can adjust the head angle and bottom bracket height, which means you can make the bike more stable or more nimble depending on the terrain. Suspension and ride feel. I noticed was that the suspension didn't just soak up the bumps. It also felt pretty playful. This is where the tunability of the Genie Shock comes in. You can adjust it so the bike feels more lively or more stable depending on what kind of riding you're doing. I tried playing around with the settings and could feel the difference. When I wanted the bike to feel more responsive, I adjusted the shock to give it a bit of a firmer feel. When I was riding over rough ground, I set it up to be a bit softer, and it made a difference in comfort. The fork on this bike is a RockShox Silo Silver, and it comes with a motion control damper. I found that it worked well with the rear suspension, keeping the front end stable when hitting rocks or drops. It wasn't too harsh, but also didn't feel overly soft. Overall, the suspension setup is pretty well balanced for trail riding. Climbing performance. Climbing with the stump jumper was interesting because it's not a super lightweight bike, but it didn't feel sluggish either. The bike's geometry seems to help a lot with climbing. The low bottom bracket and slack head tube angle gave me a sense of stability when going uphill, even when the trail got steep or technical. The suspension also helps here because it didn't feel like it was bouncing too much or wasting energy. The Shimano Delrad 12 speed drivetrain is reliable, and it gave me plenty of gear options for both climbing and descending. I never felt like I was running out of gears when I hit steeper climbs, and shifting was smooth. The bike felt efficient on climbs, and I didn't feel like I was losing a lot of energy to the suspension, which can sometimes happen on bikes with more travel. The stump jumper seems to strike a good balance between efficiency and comfort when you're pedaling uphill. Descending and handling. I felt super confident going downhill, especially when things got rough. The slack head angle and the way the bike is designed to handle bumps made a big difference here. I felt like I could just let go of the brakes and trust the bike to handle whatever was in front of me. Whether it was loose dirt, rocks, or roots, the bike stayed stable and didn't feel twitchy or unpredictable. Cornering was another strong point for the stump jumper. The low bottom bracket and slack geometry made it easy to stay centered on the bike when going through tight turns, and I always felt like I had enough traction. I didn't have to fight the bike to keep it on track, which made riding more enjoyable. It's one of those bikes that feels playful when you want it to, but also stays planted when you need it to be. The larger front will help with stability, while the smaller rear will make the bike feel more responsive and nimble. I could see why some riders might prefer to swap out the wheels depending on their riding style or terrain. But for me, the stock setup worked well. Brakes and Components The Stump Jumper comes with Shimano MT424 piston brakes, which I found to be reliable and powerful enough for trail riding. Whether I was descending steep trails or making quick stops, the brakes never felt underpowered. They provided consistent stopping power without being too grabby, which helped me stay in control on rough descents. Durability and maintenance. One of the things I appreciate about the Stump Jumper is the focus on durability. Specialized offers a lifetime replacement of suspension pivot bearings for the original owner, which is a nice touch if you plan on riding this bike hard for years. The frame itself feels like it's built to take a beating, and I didn't notice any signs of wear after several rough rides. I'm not someone who likes to spend a lot of time on bike maintenance, so knowing that the bike is designed to handle tough conditions is reassuring. I also appreciated that the bike felt easy to maintain. The suspension components are reliable and didn't require much adjustment once I had everything set up. Overall, the Stump Jumper feels like a bike that's built to handle a lot of abuse without needing constant attention. Final thoughts. It's a solid trail bike that offers plenty of adjustability and customization, allowing you to fine-tune it for different types of terrain. The Genie suspension technology really shines, offering a smooth, controlled ride that feels playful when you want it to be and stable when you need it to be. It climbs well for a bike with this much travel and rips on descents. If you're someone who values versatility in a trail bike and likes the idea of being able to adjust the geometry to suit your riding style, the Stump Jumper is a great option. It's durable, reliable, and fun to ride, whether you're tackling technical climbs or bombing down rough descents. While it might not be the lightest bike out there, it makes up for it with performance and customization options that make every ride feel a little more personal. When I first got the Trek Fuel EX8, I was excited to see how it would handle the trails. 
I've ridden a few mountain bikes before, but I was curious about how this one would compare. Right away, I noticed that the bike looked solid and well-built. The frame is made of aluminum, but it doesn't feel too heavy. This was important for me because I wanted something that wouldn't wear me out during long rides, especially on climbs. The Fuel EX8 is a full suspension bike, so it has suspension in both the front and back. The rear suspension has 130 millimeters of travel, and the front fork has 140 millimeters. These numbers didn't mean much to me at first, but I've come to realize that they help a lot when going over rough terrain. More suspension travel means the bike can absorb bigger bumps, and I could tell that it would help keep the ride smooth even when the trail gets rough. One thing I noticed right away was how comfortable the bike felt. It has a dropper post, which lets you adjust the seat height on the go. When you're climbing, you can keep the seat high for better pedaling, and when you're going downhill or over technical sections, you can lower it to keep your center of gravity low. I didn't know how much I'd use this feature before riding, but it turned out to be super useful. Climbing. Easier than expected. When you're climbing, you don't want the rear suspension to move too much because it can make you lose energy. The Fuel EX8 has a special shock in the back that stays firm when you need it to. This means that when you're pedaling hard on an uphill, the bike doesn't bounce around and you don't waste energy. There's also a little lever on the shock that lets you lock it out if you want, which makes it even stiffer for climbs. I used this feature on a few long uphill stretches, and it made a big difference. The Shimano XT12 speed drivetrain also helps with climbing. Having a wide range of gears meant that I could always find one that felt right, no matter how steep the hill was. I didn't feel like I was struggling to push the pedals, even on the tougher climbs. The gears shifted smoothly too, which helped me stay in control. Descending. Confidence boost. When it came to going downhill, the Fuel EX8 shined. I love how stable the bike feels when descending. The combination of the frame geometry and the suspension makes it super predictable, even when you're going fast. I felt like I could trust the bike to handle whatever came my way, whether it was rocks, roots, or loose dirt. The front suspension did a great job of soaking up the bumps. I could ride over rough terrain without feeling like I was getting bounced around. The rear suspension was just as good, smoothing out bigger hits and drops. I didn't feel nervous about tackling more technical sections because I knew the bike could handle it. Another thing that gave me more confidence was the braking. The Fuel EX8 comes with Shimano 4 piston hydraulic disc brakes, and they are really powerful. I could stop quickly when I needed to, which is important when you're riding fast downhill. The brakes also have good modulation, meaning I could control how much I was slowing down without skidding or losing control. Even on longer descents, the brakes stayed strong and didn't fade. Cornering, fun and stable. Cornering on the Fuel EX8 felt great. The bike's 29-inch wheels roll over obstacles smoothly, and they hold their momentum well. This makes it easier to stay stable when turning at speed. The wider tires, 2.5 inches, also give a lot of grip, so I didn't feel like the bike was going to slide out from under me. Components, quality without excess. I'm not someone who gets too caught up in the specific parts on a bike, but I do appreciate quality components. The Fuel EX8 comes with a mix of Shimano XT and SLX parts, and they all work well together. The XT drivetrain shifts smoothly, even under load, and the wide range of gears is really useful for both climbing and descending. The Bontrager Line Comp 30 wheels are tubeless ready, which is a great feature. Running tubeless tires means I can ride at lower pressures for better grip and a smoother ride without worrying about pinch flats. I've ridden through sharp rocks and over roots without any issues. Frame. Durable and thoughtful design. The frame on the Fuel EX8 is made of alpha platinum aluminum, which is Trek's high-end aluminum alloy. It's strong but still light enough to make the bike feel nimble. One feature I like is the internal cable routing. The cables run inside the frame which keeps them protected and gives the bike a cleaner look. It's not just about looks, though having the cables inside the frame also means they're less likely to get damaged or snagged on something while riding. Adjustability, fine-tuning the ride. The Mino Link system lets you adjust the geometry of the bike to suit your riding style or the trail conditions. It's easy to use, too you just flip a chip in the suspension linkage and it changes the head angle and bottom bracket height. If you want a more aggressive setup for technical trails, you can slacken the head angle. If you prefer a steeper setup for faster riding, you can adjust it the other way. It's a small adjustment, 
but it makes a noticeable difference in how the bike handles. Conclusion Overall, the Trek Fuel EX8 has impressed me in just about every way. It strikes a solid balance between performance, comfort, and durability, making it a great all-rounder for trail riders who want a capable and versatile mountain bike. Whether I'm climbing steep trails or tackling rough descents, the Fuel EX8 handles it all with ease. The full suspension absorbs bumps and impacts, making the ride smoother and more controlled, even on challenging terrain. If you're looking for a full suspension bike that can handle a wide range of trail conditions, the Trek Fuel EX8 is worth considering. It's well-built, versatile, and designed with the rider in mind. While there's always room for customization and upgrades, the bike offers plenty right out of the box. Whether you're an experienced rider or someone just getting into more technical terrain, this bike provides a solid platform to grow your skills and enjoy the trails. I recently had the chance to test the Santa Cruz Hightower, a mountain bike that promises to handle a variety of trails with ease. This bike has a lot going for it, with features that make it suitable for different types of riding. I'll share my thoughts on how the Hightower performs in various conditions, what makes it stand out, and whether it lives up to its reputation. Introduction to the Hightower The Hightower is known for its versatility. It's designed to go from steep climbs to rough descents without missing a beat. The bike has a carbon frame, which helps keep it light yet strong. This is important for a mountain bike because you want it to perform well in tough conditions while still being easy to handle. The bike comes in two types of carbon frames, Carbon C and Carbon CC. Both options offer durability and a great ride, but Carbon CC is lighter. Key features. The Hightower has 29-inch wheels. These larger wheels roll over obstacles more easily and help maintain speed. When climbing steep trails, the wheels grip well and provide stability. On the downhill, they keep you steady while allowing for quick turns. The bike has 150 mm of rear travel and 160 mm of front travel. It helps absorb bumps and keeps the ride smooth. I found that the suspension worked well on rocky paths and when hitting jumps. It allowed me to go fast without feeling out of control. First Impressions When I first hopped on the high tower, I was struck by how light it felt. The carbon frame makes a noticeable difference. I've ridden other bikes that felt heavier, and the high tower gave me a sense of agility right from the start. I was excited to take it out on the trails and see how it performed. Climbing Performance The first trail I tried was a steep climb. I wanted to see how well the high tower handled going uphill. Right away, I noticed that the bike felt efficient. The 29-inch wheels made it easier to roll over roots and rocks. I didn't have to work as hard to keep the momentum going. The suspension provided enough support to keep the bike from bobbing too much. This meant I could focus on my pedal stroke rather than constantly adjusting my body position. The climbing experience was enjoyable. I felt strong and capable, and I think this bike would suit anyone who loves tackling tough uphill sections. Versatility in riding styles One of the best things about the Hightower is its versatility. It suits different riding styles. Whether you're a trail rider who loves exploring or an enduro racer looking for speed, this bike can handle it all. I also took the Hightower on some longer rides. For these outings, comfort is key. The bike's design helps reduce fatigue. The suspension keeps the ride smooth, and the geometry allows for a natural riding position. I found that even after several hours in the saddle, I felt good. Durability and maintenance. When buying a mountain bike, durability is always a concern. The high tower uses high quality components. It features Enduro Max sealed angular contact bearings and premium fasteners for the linkage assemblies. These details matter because they contribute to the bike's longevity. Santa Cruz also offers free replacement bearings for life. This is a significant advantage for anyone who plans to ride often. Maintenance is straightforward, and the bike can withstand regular wear and tear. After several rides, I didn't notice any major issues. Everything felt solid and reliable. Conclusion In summary, the Santa Cruz Hightower is an impressive mountain bike that delivers on its promise of versatility and performance. It's built to handle a variety of trails, from steep climbs to technical descents. The combination of the lightweight carbon frame, suspension, and adjustable geometry makes it a joy to ride. I felt confident on the trails, 
and the bike's features contributed to an enjoyable experience. If you're looking for a reliable all-terrain bike, the Hightower is worth considering. It's suitable for trail riders, enduro enthusiasts, and anyone who wants a bike that can do it all. The Santa Cruz Hightower sets a high standard in the world of mountain biking, and it has certainly earned its place in my collection. Whether you're a seasoned rider or just starting, this bike can help elevate your experience. With its capable performance, solid build, and thoughtful features, the Hightower is a bike that can grow with you.